a lot of people think this is where football is going. Let me give you the five rules for the Man United manager, whoever it is next season. Then we'll talk about them, OK? So these are the five rules for Manchester United going forward now. Uh, age limit, an age limit of 25 years of age for all new signings or under, obviously, but a maximum age of 25. No Galacticos, so that obviously means no Ronaldo, no Casemiro, mm. no Varane, I would imagine, he's oh, under the yeah. same. No, don't spend a lot of money on players that are coming towards the end of their career. This is really interesting. The style of play is now going to be set by the technical director, Jason Wilcox. We'll talk about these individually. The manager will be asked what position they think they need to strengthen, but not what player. Yeah. And Ineos are going to send a list of three players per position for the manager to choose one from. Let's go through them quickly. By the way, I know loads of you want to have your say on this, so you can 0371722344. Uh, let's start with probably the most easiest one to discuss, an age limit of 25 or under for all new signings. Now, we've seen other clubs do it. Arsenal, your club, do it. Yeah. Um, there's, a, there's another club as well that does it. What, is in terms of the manager doesn't pick the players? No, no, no. <laughs> the age limit of 25. Yeah, Arsenal's is, is the around other one that. I'm thinking of. Um, There'll be a few clubs at that. Okay. Chelsea. Chelsea, there's the Chelsea. one. That's what I'm thinking of. I, I, I like it. My only thing with that, and it's worked with, with Arsenal, and the, play, the kind of profile they, they, they pick with their players, is that sometimes, every now and then, a superstar will, will become available that's all, over that age. And I guess you can make exceptions, but there's times where you might have to go, do you know what? I know this is our policy, but that's too good to turn down. So we've got to, we've got to bring him in. But I like that policy because you look at Chelsea and I know they've just sacked their manager but with all the young players at the start of the season everyone's going what are they doing? And you're going this is not Chelsea. Towards the end of the season though you started to see a little bit from Mudrick from Jackson mm -hmm. from Caicedo you started to go hmm, hold on a second here maybe they're onto something but obviously they sacked Poch and it's, it's a different story but I, I quite like that policy and I can understand okay. it because Manchester United and we're going to get to it certainly under Ten Hag's watch man, some of the signings you're like what? Okay we'll come to that so I think we both agree that 25 is okay Yeah. But, you know, if a 26-year-old comes available, then in theory they haven't reached their pump yet, so why would you turn it down? But it depends on, I think it depends on the player as well. Okay. Uh, no Galacticos. I think that, that's just basically underlining the fact that United spent really badly on ageing players. There was no sell-back on. No, so you brought Ronaldo back. I know you didn't pay that much even, but yeah. even like Cass... I think Oli brought Ronaldo back, didn't he? Oli, got a soul shot. Well, he, yeah, it was under his watch. Under his I don't watch. think he brought him back, but, but yeah. Casemiro, 60 million. I mean, brilliant last season. Not very good this 300 season. 300 grand a week. Varan, you bought him for what? What was Varan? How much are you paying for him? That was a fit. Was that? I don't think that was under him though, was it? That under was, who? That wasn't under Ten yeah, Hag, was it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it was. You know, was it not? Okay. I think that might have been under Oli, but okay. Either way, Anthony's the one. Yeah, but he's not. He's not an old like Galactico, is he? But Casemiro was the no, one. No, but it's copious amounts of money spent. Yeah, and for five for five Premier League goals in two seasons yeah. and three assists, eighty-five million. What do you make of the style of play is going to be set by a technical director, and of course Manchester United's technical director is Jason Wilcox. I find this one the hardest pill to swallow. Um, style of play, I think, should always come down to the manager, right? It's out of doubt. I think style of play should come down to the manager. But recruitment for those... I think the manager shouldn't always have, like, I want Anthony and that's it, right? Because I think with these sporting directors, there's some really clever guys out there that if, you, if, the, if he goes to the sporting direction, which is Jason Wilcox, and says, listen, I want Anthony, I'd like Jason Wilcox to go, well, do you know, I know you like Anthony, but here's a list of, like, three or four who we thought would probably better than Anthony. Yeah. Have a look at it just to give him a little bit of context because again, eighty five million on Anthony, it's probably the worst money you've spent arguably in your certainly in your in your history. One of eighty five million it's, it's a very good question. for five goals in two seasons. For creative and three yeah, it probably assists. Probably is, it probably is. Um so I, I the style of play I think should always be the manager. But the recruitment, I think you can work together with the sporting director. Okay, so the manager will be asked what position they think they need to strengthen in. Yeah, because... But they won't be allowed to say what player they should focus on getting. Do you know what, Aston Villa fans will be able to tell me this, but I'm sure Unai has got a little something to do like where he doesn't really necessarily focus too much on that, but Villa fans will be able to tell us. Because he's got a number two that pretty much takes care of everything. But I think if you are if you, if you need a right back desperately, or say Arsenal, you yeah. just set the forward badly, I'd like to think he's working with Edu and the sporting director where they're going, right, we know you might like... Ivan Tony, but here's four or five others that we feel on paper look at their yeah. stats the minutes the age would probably be fit our profile better and I'd like to think there's a conversation where he goes okay I quite like the look of him okay mm. we'll give him a go and then you coach him make him better okay we'll talk about this in more detail because this looks like where football is going the, yeah. the sort of the, the old style footballer the the Pep maybe the Ancelotti even the Klopp maybe even um, who's the other one Pep Ancelotti what do you mean Klopp 
Jose. Yeah. These are all old school managers mm. where I don't think they would... They would sign a deal at a new club if these were the rules they had to follow. Mm. I just can't see that But happening. I think when you look at someone like a Pep, and even a Klopp, to be fair, they, they are such anomalies because of what they are that no club's going to go, this is our policy, or you're not getting the job. No. For, for, if Pep's coming to your club, mm. like, say Ineos put this whole package together, and Pep goes, I want to go to Manchester United, that they gets ripped up. up. Yeah, I agree with you. Okay, we'll get your views on it. Jim Ratcliffe has set out five rules for the uh, the manager of Man United next season, whoever that is. Uh, we've gone through them all. The age limit, no Galacticos, style of play down to the technical director. The manager doesn't pick what players. He just says, I need to strengthen in this area. Then they pick for him, etc. What do you make of that? Is this where football is going? 03717 It is bizarre that no decision has been made. You know, you get this vote of confidence. And the ball come out and say, listen, we're sticking with that man. And then usually get sacked about a week later. Mm. But I do, I, it does worry me that they haven't come out and said, what's all the fuss about? Of course he's going to be there next season. Here's our new manager. I know they say no news is good news, but that isn't always the case. Why haven't they, why haven't they come out and made a statement and said, listen, stop talking about it. He'll be here next season. Let's move on. Wait, would you have him next season? Yes. Because of the FA Cup? No, I just think he's he's onto something. He's not. He finished eighth, and that's the well, point. Well, okay, well, let's not go down that road. No, but, but, but that's but the my, problem. I think winning the FA Cup is is yeah, fantastic. No, but, but my, my that, question is, why haven't the club come out and um, come out with something one way or the other? The fact they haven't leads me to believe they are looking to replace him. Yeah, it. and I, I think whether it's the right decision or not, I get it. That bespoke performance he put in against Manchester City, fantastic. Won the the, the FA Cup. But if you were if you were picking up the odd cup every season but finishing eighth, that's not good enough for Manchester United. No, I'm not talking about that though. I'm talking about why the owners haven't come out. Okay, well, I don't know. They're clearly looking for someone okay, better. Fine. Yeah, I think you're right. I yeah. think you're right. Uh, we are talking... You like my trainers? Uh, we, are, <laughs> we are talking about Manchester United. Uh, if you're joining us late, Sir Jim Ratcliffe has set out five rules for the next manager of Man United, or the current one, but next season. To follow, uh, they include an age limit of 25 or under for all new signings, no Galacticos, the style of play to be set by the t- technical director, Jason Wilcox. Go on. Well, also, yes. in that, you asked me a good question, yep. Ten Hag might be going, I'm, I'm not buying to that, I don't want that. So maybe it's him that's... Th- maybe. 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 Maybe it's him that's thinking about it. It's a good point. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. That's the num- number to dial. Excuse me, Billy, the Man United fan, is first up today. Hello, Billy. Hi, Andy. You okay, I'm great. How are you today? Yeah, I'm all right. Hi, Darren. Hi, Boss. You're right. Yeah, I'm all right. Good man. Um, Andy, I, Andy, I've got to say, like, I'm not even going to get onto Jason Wilcox thing yet, but the over thirties thing, I totally get it. If we're not going to sign somebody uh, like Captain, so, sorry, hold on, sorry, Billy, not over thirties, under twenty fives. Under 25. But if you think, sorry, if you think of some of the players that we've signed, like free transfers, like where we've got like players that have been over 30 or over 25 even, I just think it's madness that they've come out with that. I totally get like the Casemiro over Ramfrey fees because that's like, I, I totally get that. But some players, I think Darren said it, like you could get somebody who comes available at 25. Like Mbappe must be close. What's he, 23, 24 now? Yeah. If Mbappe came up saying at 26, they're not going to sign him. I just think it's madness. But the Jason Wilcox thing, I think, I, I really don't get it. I don't understand how a manager can play football if somebody else is directing it. I, 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 I don't think Ten Hag will stay for it. Cause well, do you know what, Billy? I think, I think now it's almost like managers, are, I wouldn't say they're a dying breed, but every football club seems to want a head coach where they're not the manager anymore, they're the coach. So whatever players we give you, you coach them and make it work, which is, I guess, where the football's going. It seems that way because Emery's just signed a contract, hasn't he, and changed it from manager to head coach. Is yeah. that right? So it just seems, but it seems madness. Like, no offence to Jason Wilcox, but he was at Southampton. We're not talking about somebody who's been at Barcelona or Real Madrid. He's going to choose the style of play for Man United when, let's face it, Andy, the last few years, we've had no style of play. It's been awful. Mm. Yeah, thanks for your call. Still, I just, I still, I still by the way, this will make everyone feel old. And Mbappe is twenty-five. Yeah, the guy's scored actually in one World Cup final mm. and won the other. Yeah, <clears throat> I know. But if 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 in however many months till we twenty-six comes available, do Man United go? No, we don't. No, nah, but of course there's going to be um, there's going to be a, uh, a exception. A, a exception. There has to be. It can't be just, black, black think, and white. I just think football needs to be down to the manager. It has to. be See, style of play. I one hundred percent agree with you. But I think in terms of picking the players, sometimes you've got to just... I don't, I, let, let me take one more call and then we'll have a chat. Jordan's an Arsenal fan. Hi, Jordan. How you doing, guys? Thanks for having me on. Our pleasure. Um, How are you? 
Not too bad, thank you. Just to say very quickly, love listening to you two um, you, every day, and your um, throwaway humour, Andy, just makes me laugh. It's so funny, mate. Oh, that's very, very good. kind. Thank you, mate. Um, listening to the five-point plan, I think it's... Um, I think it's a little bit lame that it did get made public. I mean, you'd keep it maybe internal if you are going to follow those rules. So it means that you don't, you know, if, if, if Mbappe does come up, you can make that decision yeah, and point. not be left looking. I think it's a bit lame. But also, I hate, I know it's not going to go down with the purists, like the, the football fans, but I do think it's a good idea the way clubs are organising those transfers that way. Like the manager doesn't have to be, like to compartmentalise. It doesn't mean the manager has to obsess of a player that the deal may never be even able to be made. Um, you know, give him give him a few options of but ones jo- that are feasible Jordan, and he can pick from them. Jordan, the, I, in my view is that the manager has to fancy that player, right? And I, I, we've seen it before. I, who's the player? Was it Robbie Keane when he went to Liverpool? Mm. And my understanding was that the manager at the time, I can't remember which manager it was, didn't want him. And so he didn't have a chance. Mm. So even though the club signed mm. him, he just didn't have a chance at that club. And, and I'm thinking, it's all very well saying we're going to identify the players, we're going to bring them in, you're going to have to work with what we've got. If the manager doesn't see the player in there that the te- technical re- director does, I just can't see how it's going to work. Yeah. No, you're right. I mean, that is true. That is the reality. That's how it works out. And then eventually a manager will get the hump and leave. We've seen yeah. that happen before. Yeah. Um, do, do you know the only thing is, though, Jordan, uh, do you know the only thing is, though, is that I think sometimes managers do need to be safe from themselves. Because, again, I know we keep going back to him, but you look at Anthony, for instance, 85 million. Mm. But you look at Kudos at West Ham. You could, there's no way you no, could tell but me all, that. But all great managers, yeah. all, this is a fact, have bought turkeys. I get that. But... They, this, they one, this, this one is the, one of the most expensive in your club's it history. Is the most expensive turkey. So, the, the, do you know what I mean? Sometimes, and it, even though not, I mean, Casemiro, sixty million. Come on, this is this is a very short term plan. The clubs have got to look long term. Yeah, but okay, but there are players like Manu that have come in, Garnacho that mm-hmm. have come in, right? Because the manager sees them and he goes, "I know they're good enough." Mm-hmm. Now, there there might be other players that the technical director looks at and goes, "He's a good one." He might not see that in him, so he's not going to play him. Yeah, no, I, I do think sometimes. I don't think managers will just go, nah, I'm not having him. I think there should be a conversation out. Okay. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.